Hello everybody, this is Goofsome Fox coming at you with a 650 cost rated match here in the Fiafnir. We're going to be on Impact Site for this match here, and the Fiafnir is our newest banner mobile suit. It is a 650 cost general, and it comes from the same series as the Overon, which is uh, pretty cool to get another suit from that series. But uh, the main thing I want to start off this video by saying is that it really took me quite a bit to get a match I was proud of using the Fiafnir. A lot longer than I thought it was initially going to, because uh, most of my matches that I played when trying to get a good match with this suit was either I'd be on the losing side and my win stats, or not my win stats, but my overall stats would be uh, pretty good. I'd be like second place, I'd be like pretty high in the scoreboard, or I would be on the winning team and my stats would be pretty bad. I'd be like 7th place most of the time, uh, sometimes even getting dead last. So uh, I think this match here is, you know, it was a really good match. Did show off a lot of the um, weapons and skills that the Fafnir here comes with, which is really one I wanted to try to aim for because the Fafnir here has um, quite a lot going for it. And I think despite my initial struggles when it came to using this suit, I still think it is a pretty good 650 cost general, which really just seems expected for the course at this point. Uh, really, whenever we get a new 650 general in uh, Gundam Battle Operation 2 nowadays, they just end up being these really good mobile suits, I feel like. Uh, you know, like Psycho Bawu, Ri Bawu, um, Psycho Doga, that one did get buffed recently, but uh, still a really good general. And then, you know, Gustav Call, uh, things like that. So, like, we have, I'm, I'm probably missing a few. The Zeta, the Zeta Gundam 3A, that's another really good example. I still see um, quite a lot of those. So, the uh, point is, a lot of really good 650 cost generals that we have been getting as time has progressed. And I do think the Fafnir here is no exception to that. Uh, you have quite a bit going for it. You are also a transforming mobile suit, so... Um, really also quite a bit there as well, but um, yeah, for your weapon loadout, you do have a instant stunning beam rifle on the right shoulder there. You also have a pair of double beam sabers. You have some machine cannons on the uh, chest, which you can boost while using these. They pretty much operate like uh, Vulcans, but they have some really good stun accumulation. You have some beam cannons on the back there, which is a instant stun, but it is stop to fire. You have the hyper beam saber, which is a second melee weapon, which pairs with your aerial uh, melee skill. You have a pair of rapid beam rifles, which similar to the chest machine cannons, do have some really good stun accumulation, and also are just good for getting chip damage on a enemy. Ah, uh, you have some missile launchers. Similar case, these have some really good stun accumulation, really good for just uh, getting damage on somebody. And then you have a head mega particle cannon, which this one actually um, does really good damage, and it is, um, you know, you have to charge it, but you can also move while charging it. So it is kind of similar to the head cannon used by the mass production double zeta which is really cool for this suit. The only issue I really have with the head cannon with this is that uh, since you are a hover suit and if you try to fire the cannon while you are still moving, uh, it is a stop to fire weapon, but because you are a hover suit, uh, you can drift a little, which really can mess up your shots in some occasions. I'm sure that happens to me a few times in this match here. That's probably one of the few things with this suit. I really haven't completely gotten um, down right yet, so, uh, still need some practice there, but other than that, the loadout for mobile suit mode is pretty good, and in your mobile armor mode, you also have a pair of beam cannons, rapid beam cannons, and the missile pods, and the rapid beam rifles and the missile pods, they are their own weapons, and they don't share ammo with the mobile suit mode, which is always a plus with transforming mobile suits, so, really, really good transform mode for this suit as well. And the skills as well, the aerial melee, um, I will say it is level 2, which really being level 2, I think the only thing you get with it is that if you use your midair melee, uh, you will do an extra 30% damage. Uh, really haven't had a whole lot of opportunities where I've been able to use this, really a situational 
um, kind of skill here. Um, but, yeah, I don't, yeah, really that's all I have to say about it. Kind of situational, really can't make too much use of it, which I only bring up because I do think it's something that I heard people were concerned about with, you know, making this suit really strong because the Hyper Beam Saber Downswing is really good on this suit. It already has really good base damage and really boosting it is also just really good. So when it does land, it is really good to have, but again, just feels very situational. You also have the Grimoire Blue, which slows down enemy mobile suits that have their melee weapon out. I think it also applies if they are boosting as well. And then you also have uh, reduced overheat and reload for your um, weapons, as well as... Uh, what is it? I think... Oh, you gain extra damage against raids, so... <laughs> Um, yeah, you know, you'll be a pretty strong raid killer when this activates, so, uh, pretty nice skill here. I believe this lasts for 60 seconds before it goes away, so, um, yeah, also it activates when you're at 50% HP or below, so, really cool with the Grimoire way there. I really, really do like how that system works. And then you have the movable shield controller, that's for your, uh, I call them shield binders, because I think that's what they're called on the Gaplant. And I do believe the Fafnir here is supposed to have some Gaplant inspired um, armaments and things like that here. So uh, I just call them shield binders, but uh, there probably is another term for these. But um, yeah, the skill is really nice. It does um, you know give you reduced thruster consumption when you are in high speed movements, as well if you are repeatedly using your force injector skill. And it's also supposed to reduce stagger when hit by um, attacks without suppressive effects. So, um, yeah, really cool skill to have there. Uh, real to say though that one of the weaknesses with this suit when it comes to the skills is that you do not have maneuver armor of any kind. So that can be a bit of a problem at times because those binders really do just kind of stick out. I do find myself getting stunned by being hit by the binders a whole lot. I uh, really wish they gave the binders some sort of skill, or like the movable shield controller. I really wish it had something with it where w if you get hit in your shield binders, it's not an instant stun. Because I feel like the rest of the body is big enough where I feel like if you just do the binders, it shouldn't be that much of an issue. But um, other than that, that's really the only complaint I really have about the Fafnir here is the lack of maneuver armor. I do think this suit would benefit greatly from it, but I can also kind of understand as well maybe why the devs didn't want to give it maneuver armor, because with everything else you have already, like you have a double dodge roll, so <laughs> with everything you have already, the suit is pretty packed. Maneuver armor might have just been a little too much for this suit, but um, yeah, overall I still think it's a pretty fun general here. Pretty fun 650 cost general. Again, just really good for 650 general standards. And real quick, hey, win for this match here. First place with 7 kills and 3 loss. Uh, not too shabby there. And that's going to do it for the match there in the Fafnir. Uh, but yeah, just another really good 650 cost general. I don't really have too much else to say about this suit. If you do want to see it in more detail with the weapons and skills, I do have a testing video on this suit as well, which I'll probably have, um, you know, I'll have it up in the right hand corner there, and I'll probably leave it in the description for this video as well. So if you want to see the suit in more detail, that is a option. You can give that a watch if you so please. Um, but really, yeah, I just I just don't have too much else to say about it. I'm sorry if you came to this video expecting me to say a lot more. It's it's just another good 650 general, and I do think it is one that is worth getting if you don't have already have a 650 general that you are comfortable with. I do think if you have a 650 that you already think you're pretty good with, then maybe you could probably skip on this one. But um, yeah. I think it's pretty good. So that's going to be the end of this video here. Comment down below what you think about the Fafnir. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And with that, I will see you all in the next one. Later.